for the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. And we'll go through the recent past, we'll talk about the present time, we'll go over the challenge, and then we'll see what the outcome is going to be. So Aquarius, in the recent past, we got the Empress, and it's with the Ace of Wands. Now the Empress, just know that this is a person that does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, that doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. So it's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially because we all know there's many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them. Now the Empress can encompass any and or all of them. So it's paired with the Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands is, is about new beginnings, very positive ones. It could be in the realm of accomplishments, could be related to work or career. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are likely to get much better very soon. Because if you look at this wand, it's not just sitting above the clouds or between the clouds, but it's burst into the it's burst into the clouds. So things will get better very soon. This card it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So you're likely to be feeling really energetic and positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. It tells you that now is a good time to start something new. If you're single, the Ace of Wands indicates the beginning of a new love that's coming in. So make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. If you're already committed, it tells you the relationship is about to undergo a new beginning. It could rise to new levels, to new heights. So, Aquarius, for the recent past, which could have been a week ago, it could have been a month ago, could have been three months ago, or more, six months ago. Now, Empress and Ace of Wands, it's showing that you were dealing with someone that had a lot of mojo for you. A lot because when the Empress talks about love and relationships it's a potent time for love you could find men and women alike suddenly finding you far more attractive and there's a deep love there with the Empress so somebody had like I said had a lot of mojo for you in the recent past and this person could have wanted a new beginning with you with the Ace of Wands here or they wanted to, uh, they were a new love that came in in the recent past. And the passion was over the top. They had a lot of passion for you. Yeah, and they were drawn to you in a really big way. Because you got two cards here that's showing... Um, deep love and passion. So this person found you very attractive. And it could have been a new love or a relationship you were already in. And your person probably wanted to take it to the next level. So let's take a look and see what the present time has for you. Coming up in August, we got the Two of Swords. And it's with the Ten of Cups. So the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's a friendship, romantic, business. You should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these relationships and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner. And if you're not, it could just be time to bring things back into balance. Now, that's the Two of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Cups, which is a, one of the most uplifting cards that you can get in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. 
Either way, it's a really, really good card. It speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single. To the overall well-being that goes beyond you to include those that you're most concerned about, such as your parents, siblings, children, and your pets, much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled at this time. It's also a part of the picture. Great courage to see regardless of any question. Beautiful. Ten of Cups is the tops. There's no cups missing. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. If you're worrying about a romantic relationship and you get the Ten of Cups, it's a sign, it's a signal that you really don't have anything to worry about. You and your person, you're on the same page, even if you don't feel like it. If the relationship is not made formal yet, and you hope that it comes to pass, take heart, it's coming. So don't sabotage things by causing problems where there really aren't any. Not with the Ten of Cups. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. So for the present time, Aquarius coming up for you for August. Like I said, you got the Two of Swords and Ten of Cups. Now what this is saying, is that with the two of swords here there's somebody that you're dealing with or it could be this person that wanted a new beginning with you in the recent past that's what I'm picking up I'm picking up they're still in the picture it looks like this person they still want this new be they still want the end of they want the new beginning with you and now they they want it even more. They offering the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. They see you as a dream come true. They're offering formal commitment. They're offering the end all be all with the Ten of Cups. But it's got the Two of Swords here, so it looks like you could be ignoring some warning signs. Um, you're avoiding and blocking something you're avoiding and blocking with the Two of Swords. Or you're ignoring some warning signs, because it looks like with the Ten of Cups, you could want you want the same thing with this person. You see this as a as a dream come true, this connection as a dream come true, and so do they. So let's get more clarity on why are you blocking and avoiding this connection or blocking something. So let's move on over to the challenge for now. You got the Five of Wands, and you got the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Wands, it refers to competition. Now, usually, well, sometimes it could be career or work, but this is a love reading, so it's referring to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Just know you got something to offer. You can be successful, but you're going to have to try just to see results. When this card appears, you need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever so hold your head up high have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you you could be thinking of making a career change when you get the five of wands just know you can be successful but it's all about holding your head up high and having faith and the believe the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever at this time now, that's the Five of Wands, and it's with the Knight of Pentacles, which points to messages. So, it could be with regards to money, finance. You could be receiving some news that you've been waiting on. The news is really good news. The Knight is a practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your lives. There was a wise man that once said, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs, and it's a very groundling influence. 
So Aquarius for the challenge, Five of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like the person that you're dealing with, the person that you have your eye on, they may be being pursued by several people. So this person is a challenge and they bring romantic rivalry or romantic rivals to this connection and you feel like there's obstacles. It, it brings obstacles to this connection and you probably feel like you have to struggle for dominance. And sometimes it causes you and your person not to see eye to eye. But this person, we, you got the Knight of Pentacles for the challenge also. This person that you're dealing with, they're coming in slow. They're letting you know that with you, they're willing to be stable, stable and civilized. They're letting you know that um, that we can take this slow and steady. This person really likes you, even though they bring competition. And picking up, that's what, that's what the Two of Swords is here for. It's because you're ignoring the warning signs. And the warning signs is that this person can be a challenge, or this person has the potential to be a challenge because you see that they are being pursued by several people. But this person, your person is trying to tell you as the Knight of Pentacles that with you, they're willing to be civil and stabilized, stable and civilized. And it looks like they could turn in their player cards for you. Because the Knight of Pentacles, that's what it's all about. It's coming correct. No games played with the Knight of Pentacles. As the Knight of Pentacles, not at all. Knight of Pentacles is a good to marry type. Very good to marry. So, this person, like I said, uh, it's about messages, the Knight of Pentacles. This person could be trying to reach out to you and let you know whatever you see or whatever you have doubts about don't because they'll they'll change for you so right now it looks like the two of swords I, I was saying that um, we clarify why you were ignoring the warning signs and uh, it's because of the five of wands because you see that th this person can be a challenge but they're willing to let you they, they, go, they want to let you know. They want to reach out to you and let you know that it doesn't have to be like that. So they could um, turn in their player cards just for you. So let's take a look and see what the outcome is going to be. We got the Three of Pentacles, and it's with the King of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is very positive in the tarot, particularly when it comes to work in career questions because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot that's money cash coins finance it's a good overall card in the tarot it means that you're doing well three of pinnacles it tells you tells you that people around you they appreciate you and your efforts you notice the quality of work you do even if you don't get paid for it it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track there could be some room for improvement but you will not need to scrap something and then start again. Definitely not. So, it's with the King of Pentacles, which is about success and money matters. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is really not a time to be a maverick. It's a time to follow the established way of doing things. When it stands for actual person in your life, it refers to a very masculine type could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if it's if it is referring to someone in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust absolutely, absolutely. 
This King of Pentacles is about someone that wants to sweep you off your feet. So try to put your best foot forward, but don't pretend to be someone that you're not. Because this, this uh, King of Pentacles, they will love you exactly for who you are. Yeah, the outcome is great. Because this King of Pentacles is... They're coming in to sweep you off your feet. They're the good... King of Pentacles is a good father, child. Very stable. And you got two stable types in here. The Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So the outcome is Three of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Now, your person that uh, that you really want to be with, this person in here that you have the Ten of Cups with, you both want the end-all, be-all, both really feeling each other. Um, like I said, you see them as a challenge. But they're letting you know that there's no need to have any doubt. There's no need to think anything different because they're coming to you stable, civilized. They'll be reaching out to you and they'll have a lot to offer with the Three of Pentacles because the, like I said, Three of Pentacles, it's about benefits. It's about teamwork, collaboration. So your person is not just talking. They're talking the talk and walking the walk. And the King of Pentacles is great. It's another stable and civilized current. This person wants to secure a committed relationship with you. Yeah, so you might start to... You might feel like you want to avoid and block this person because, you, like I said, you'll see that um, there's competition. Um, but they're willing to cut it all out for you. They want success and victory with you. And they're going to let you know that they have a lot to offer you. So some benefits with the Three of Pentacles is usually really good, really good. So this person will be offering you a lot and they want the the end all be all with you with the Ten of Cups. Could be the same person. I'm picking up it's the same person from the recent past. Like I said, recent past could have been a week ago, two months ago, six months ago or more. But I'm feeling that it's the same person because in the recent past we talked about someone that had a lot of mojo for you. A whole lot in the recent past. And they wanted a new beginning and it looks like they still do so I don't think this person has went anywhere so they're trying to let you know competition don't worry about it they'll put it into it because you're the one that they want Aquarius <laughs>